Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of morph effects in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.1 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all let's import our models here. So here I got these two skull models from Sketchfab. Download link in the description. So let me import those models. So go to this file. It is a GLTF file. So come to this import and select this GLTF and let me locate those files. So here I got one file. So first of all let me align this first. So press 3 first side view and let me rotate this here. So I think this is fine and let me move it just about to the grid like this. Okay. So now let me import another skull model. So again go to this file, import GLTF. So here also we got the same skull model. So this effect works better when the models are identical. So luckily I got these two models from Sketchfab. So let me place this here. Let me just clean a bit. Okay. So now you can see we got these two models. So if I move on to this material viewport, you will know the material. You can see. So if I select this and press H on the keyboard, you can see we got this one skull and another one is here. So both two skulls are different. So we need to place them like this so that they are overlapping with each other. Nice. So first of all, let me hide out this below skull first. So here we got this skull now. So now let's work on this skull. So first of all, let me create an ecosphere. So go to this add mesh, select this ecosphere. And first of all, let me increase the scaling, press S and increase the scale. So now place this ecosphere below. Now press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for the location and move like 120 frames forward. And now move ecosphere so that it covers the skull completely. So now again press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location. So now if I play this, we can see we got this animation here. So let me expand this one. So select this both keyframes, right click, come to this interpolation and change it to linear so that the movement will be equal throughout the frames nice so first of all let me increase the subdivision so press tab right click subdivide and also let me add a subdivision modifier subdivision surface and let me increase the level viewport to 2 so first of all let me change the solid viewport okay so now select the ecosphere once again come to this modifier options add this displace modifier so now click on this texture add new texture here add these clouds so now we can adjust the strength. Now we can come to this modifier properties and from here we can adjust the strength. So I think this much is fine. Let me share it smooth this one. So now select the skull, come to this modifier options, add modifier, add boolean modifier. Now in object, let it be in difference only. In object, select this ecosphere. Okay. So now if I move on to this X ray view mode, if I play this, you can see the ecosphere. Let me change this to fast. So when the ecosphere touches the skull, the mesh disappears. Here you can see that. So if I pass this, you can see the portion inside the ecosphere has gone. And if I play this continue, you can see the mesh is disappearing. So now let's work on the other skull. So let me hide out this one. So let me hide out this in viewport and let me bring back the skulls. So for this second skull, so if I move on to this material viewport, you can see this is the second one and this is the first one. So first one is completed. Now we are working on the second skull. So for the second skull, we got this two meshes. We got this teeth and we got the other mesh separated. First we need to join them. So let me select both these meshes, press Ctrl plus J to join them so that it becomes single mesh or single object. Okay. So now we need to add modifier for this also. So again, go to this add modifier and add boolean modifier. So now we will be using this intersect instead of difference. So let me change this to intersect and in object, we need to select this ecosphere. So now if I hide out the ecosphere 
and now if I play this and let me change this to fast you can see our object is building up as the ecosphere is moving forward so this is the effect which we want so if I bring back both the skulls once again so now if I move forward in timeline like 88th frame you can see the morphing is happening here so if I come to this you can see the skull is turning to second skull so in this way we can do this morphing effect easily so now let's work on the particles here flame particles so for that we'll be working on the skull only so let me hide out this skull here so we'll be using only this skull we'll be working on the skull only so let me move back to the solid stage and let me disable this x-ray so in order to get the particles we'll be using dynamic plane so first let me select this skull come to this physical properties and add this dynamic paint and type let it be canvas and add canvas and enable this anti-aliasing and surface type let it be weight and I think this is fine for now so now select this ecosphere come to this physics properties add dynamic paint and in type change it to brush so skull should be canvas and this ecosphere should be brush so now click on this add brush so now paint type change it to mesh volume plus proximity so now again select this skull model scroll down come to this output properties in vertex group we need to add the vertices so for that we need to click on this object data properties create vertex group click on this plus icon here and we'll get that group created here so now again come to this physics properties scroll down and in vertex group select the group which we have created now simply click on that name the group will be added okay so if I change this to weight paint mode and if I play this let me hide out this ecosphere so here you can see the influence here happening so here we don't want the influence to be this much radius so here we need to reduce this radius so if I come to this make sure the object is selected and if I reduce the radius here you can see the influence here so here we want only this much of radius okay so now if i play this we can see the influence occurring here so this is fine so now let me move back to this object mode once again so now we need to duplicate this object so select the object shift plus d to duplicate it and just click on that we want that to be in the same space only so now select this duplicated one so i will rename this as mask okay so now select this mask Come to this modify properties add modifier and add this mask so in vertex group we need to select the group which we have created so now if i hide out this main object here you can see we got this only thin layer here so from this layer the particles will be emitting so this is fine for now so now select this mask object come to this particle properties create new particle system here so now if I play this we got these particles emitted so come to this source and make sure to enable this use modifier stack option because we have used modifiers and now we need to find the frame where the particle should start so here from starting only my mask is visible so I will leave it to one frame so if the particles or if the mask is not visible from the frame for example if the mask starts from 10th frame we need to change the particle starting frame here 10 so for me the mask is visible from or else let me do one thing let me select this ecosphere let me bring this and let me move it down a bit press i and add a keyframe for location so now i need to find the frame where the mask is visible first so we need to find the frame where the particles are starting so from this frame i think let me move backward so from this frame onwards the particles are starting so it is 12th frame so now i will change this frame start to 12 and again we need to find the end frame so let me hide out this ecosphere and let me find out the end frame where the particle should end so i think this frame will be the last so let me select this only so i will change this to 112 and lifetime i don't want the life of the particles to be so much so i will reduce this to seven and life randomness let it be one 
so this will be fine so here instead of these particles i will be using another object so go to this add mesh select ecosphere so now let me place this here and now select this mask object come to the particle system scroll down come to this render options render as change it to object and here we need to select this ecosphere so now we will get this ecosphere instead of those round spheres and let me change this scaling to 0 0.02 and randomness i will make it let me change this to 0.75 so this is fine and let me enable this rotation so after that let me come to this field weights and gravity i will change this to minus 3 so i don't want any gravity i want the gravity to be upwards so i have changed this to minus 3 so again if i play this we will get the particles shooting upwards so this is what i want so now let me bring back this second skull and also this skull here and for this ecosphere i will be adding another material so select this ecosphere come to this material properties add new material and surface change it to emission and strength increase this to 100 i think and change this to orange okay so now come to this render properties enable ambient occlusion enable bloom option and intensity i will increase this intensity a bit and now let me place this aside so here you can see we got that nice morphing effect along with the particles so i think i need to reduce this radius so again let me come to this physics property and let me reduce the radius to 0 0.012 okay so it is very much thin so i think this much is fine so now we can see we got this thin layer kind thing if you want we can increase this a bit so i think this much is fine so now let me increase the particle count so select this particle properties and let me increase the particle number to 10,000 I think okay so I think 10,000 is fine so now we need to bake the simulation so scroll down come to this catch sheet and click on this bake button so this may take time depending upon the number of particles we have selected okay so after that we can render the C note so in this way we can create this kind of morphing effects easily in blender so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye